Ah, you guessed it. This is becoming a regular thing. Okay, so I can see that uh, that's another foundation wipe. After we just got the table off again. What is this? The uh, is this the third or fourth time? I'm not even sure anymore. Well, we could complain about it all. We can just get stuff and rebuild again. So the funny thing about this part is um, <laughs> the person that did it this time is trying to act like they're not with that clan that raided us the first time. <laughs> when um, their name is intertwined with them during raiding, so they, they're obviously friends, right. Anyway, so they spent a while just begging and begging and begging to join my team. Obviously, so they can see me on the map, so they can spend less time searching for me every time I build. Anyway, this time we, we're going down to the abandoned factory down here, or research, whatever this is called. Just because there's a green card here, there's a few good things. There's um, the food crate there, green door, fuel to make furnaces. There's decent stuff here, and also I can go over to the military when I need to. Which, if you didn't know, you get a green card in the military. Normally, you're gonna get a blue card from there, and then sometimes from the blue card room, you get a purple card. It's it's a good way to get stuff. Oh man, I should have come here in the first place. There's like decent stuff to make SMGs with and that. Also, the dismantler is also an important part because, you know, obviously you can come by and get scrapped to put the table up. Oh man, I gotta tell you, it is getting really annoying to get the table to advance to get it smashed. It's, uh, it's pretty ridiculous. And I have been informed by um, other players that quit the server. Before they quit, they let me know that this is not just like one or two people, this is like two clans to three clans, all living in the same village type base thing. He didn't say where that is, but apparently they're all just working together to just toxically raid one server. Whatever, but it's part of the game, I guess. Anyway. Let's get down to the Anyway, I'm just going to choose a base location. I'm probably going to try to make it close to here because I need the dismantler and all these supply crates and toolboxes and the green card room. It's all nice and close here. It's kind of going to make scrapping really simple. I'll be able to jump on every now and again, grab stuff from here, quickly scrap it, and then get enough scrap to do the table. Just hope we don't get raided while we're offline. We've moved pretty far away from the original location, so I don't think they're going to find it too easily. But we still will find it. I've seen some of these people do the report check method using helicopters, where they get the driver is just driving, and the, uh, the passengers quickly report check to sort of like get a gauge of where, where players are. So... I imagine it probably won't take them too long to find the base, but I don't know. I'm not gonna just give up and leave the servo. Uh, this looks kinda good. Location for it, I might as well just put it down here. Yeah, let's raise it up a bit. I'm not gonna make it too big, obviously, because. <clears throat> materials factor and you know if it gets raided again that's only going to be me spending like ages just to build up again this kind of sucks too because like i don't have all day to sit on this game i do other things you know what I, mean? I have 10 hours to sit here and build up full massive steel bases with auto turrets and 17 layers you know what i mean like Alright, finally, 
getting the table to medium. Okay, so I was just heading out here and I noticed there's a name in the report check. So we're gonna go in and see if we can't see who it is. I've never seen this net. Oh, actually, yeah, I did see this name once before in the last base that got raided, so thinking maybe this might be one of the clan scouts, you know what I mean? Alright, I'm gonna just use this window to see if we can see him with third perspective so he doesn't see us. Oh, there he is. Uh, I don't think he has a gun, but... Well, I'm not toxic, so I'm not going to chase after him. Wow, I think this is only the third time. Or the second time when I'm sure that we've got the table to advance, finally. Can make armor again, can make guns again. Oh, I've got the base all up to steel. Um, just gotta hope that we don't get offline raided again. I swear they do it every time we are offline. Uh, thanks for watching, subscribe if you haven't